Well, the, the Commonwealth Games are on next month in Victoria, Canada, and you can see all the action, of course, exclusively on the 10 Network and Associated Stations, the station you're watching right now. Two men who won bronze four years ago are hoping to go two better this time, and they're weightlifters Harvey Goodman and Stephen Kettner. We welcome them to the show. Welcome, boys. Good to see you. Hi. Welcome. It goes without saying, obviously, two separate divisions. Yeah, well, uh, I'm in the heaviest division, the super heavyweight class, um, which is, means I have to weigh over 108 kilos, and I've got the unfortunate task of eating all the time to keep my weight up. <laughs> yes, someone's got to do it, eh? That's right, yeah. What about you, Harvey? I guess you'd have to restrict your diet to a certain extent. Yeah, I like to stay within four kilos of my uh, category. And yeah. so sometimes I have to uh, cut down a bit if I'm getting over that uh, tolerance. Right. Now, how did you start out in, uh, in weightlifting? I'm told whatever your answer is, it's going to be much the same for both of you because you were at the same club, weren't you? Yeah, we both lifted uh, the Hawthorne Weightlifting Club. And we started as teenagers. Um, I started through uh, football. Yep. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit stronger and I was put onto a weight training program for footy and I gave football away and now I'm going to the Commonwealth Games. Is th do you still have a great love for weightlifting? Oh, for sure. Yeah, what is it that really gives you that buzz? I think it's the challenge. Uh, if, if you put in the training, then you're going to get the results out. Um, if, if you jip training and start missing sets and start you know, missing training sessions, then you're not going to get the results on the platform. Mm -hmm. and you've got no one to blame but yourself. Right. Feel the same way, obviously? Yeah, it's, that's exactly the same. I mean, I, when I started out, I was, uh, there was a few guys at school who were a bit stronger than me. I was never really big, so I sort of wanted to be... I was very competitive mm -hmm. and I wanted to beat them, so I took up the sport and I was encouraged at the right time and it worked out for the best. Does it follow naturally that because you're weightlifters and obviously muscle that you can then look after yourself? Most people sort of feel that if you had a weightlifter on your side, well, you know, everything's under control. Is that true? Can you, do you dabble in the other sports such as wrestling and boxing? No, no, no not really. Just weightlifting? Yeah. Mm. Well, you can't, you, get, you can't afford the injuries, you know, with, uh, with we're training like six days a week, 11 times a, uh, 11 times a week, yep. uh, that's 11 sessions. And, you know, if you, if you get an injury, you go out and play volleyball or something, footy on the weekend, and chances are you get hurt, then it's going to put you back, you know, six months, and you can't afford that at our level. Mm. Now, you've got to train all the time to keep up the, to keep in peak condition. Right. Your wife, Kate, did you meet her through weightlifting? Did you pick her up at a disco one night? <laughs> well, actually, I did. did I seriously did, yeah. Uh, she was uh, a... F uh, that is funny. Uh, yeah, she, uh, I met her at a nightclub yeah. through a friend, and uh, that was about eight years ago. And that's young Ryan, is it? Yeah, that's young Ryan. He's five months, months old. A couple of days ago. Will he be a weightlifter? Um, if he wants to be, yeah. I'll, I'll encourage him to do whatever he wants to do. Right. I believe your girlfriend, Michelle, she lifts weights. Yeah, that's right. She used to be a track and field athlete and she got interested in, uh, in weightlifting through the track and field and she competed uh, last year at the World Championships in Melbourne and placed 10th. Mm -hmm. And she's going really well and she's going to put, compete in the Worlds in Turkey later on this year. That's wonderful. Uh, is she going to uh, the Commonwealth Games? No, she's not. There's no women weightlifting for the Commonwealth Games, but she hopes to be there in 98 in Kuala Lumpur. Terrific. Well, this is, uh, this is bronze. This is Commonwealth bronze. These boys, I'm sure, are going to go at least uh, one better. Let's hope two better. Good luck for the Games. We look forward to seeing you on this very network. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, All the best. Good Thanks, luck for Steve. the Games. And just in case our general managers watch, just stand up just for a second, Stephen, if you will. I have uh, a meeting today regarding a couple of clauses in my contract. <laughs> I should mention to Mr. Osmotherly, if he's watching, this is my new manager who'll be coming down to see me in your office today. Thank for you, Stephen. Will you speak on my behalf? For a percentage. For a percentage. Oh, look at <laughs> everywhere, everywhere you go. Okay, it's all yours, Susie.